uh, inspiration is one of the most mysterious uh, phenomena. Uh, you never know exactly where it comes from and how how to nurture it. And I don't know, I was trying to, I think at the very beginning, I was trying to find which job is in, in life is the closest to my job. And I certainly found that architecture, architects were really close to filmmakers. I mean, they, they had the same kind of job. You're working with a team, you're dealing with all sorts of difficulties, the, you know, the, the weather outside, um, you're dealing with a client, I'm dealing with a producer, I'm dealing with a distributor, uh, and so on. And so it, it's an artistic job, but it's also an extremely practical job. So all of this, I started musing about this, and then I started to get interested into architecture. And then I met some architects. Slowly, you end up with a story that that's that's fascinating you, and, and you start thinking about it all the time, and eventually you start writing it, and, and, and then you have a film. I wanted to, to make a, I wanted to deal with a rural architect, someone who would live in the country and do country houses by opposition to a, a city architect who works in a big firm, you know, with tons of uh, desks and all a whole bunch of people working on a huge project. I wanted to get a guy that would work alone, at least at, in that stage of his life, at the very beginning. So that, and then because I had lived in the country for a long time, for 15 years when I was young, I knew about these, this, this type of life where you have a few friends and you're very close to one another. So because you're close to one another, you have secrets, everything is not said, and so on. And from there, the story evolved. And you don't know why a story captivates you. And, and you just have to trust that if it captivates you for a year, two years, then it's worthwhile. I mean, it's worth making a film about it. it it's going to live somehow.